Party! Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. So our Zen Garden is already taken care of so we can dive right on into survival mode. We're now doing hard survival mode at the pool. This should be very interesting. So I think I've had enough with the garlic gloom shroom strategy so for this time we're going to want sunflower and lily pad and cattail. You definitely want cattails. No question. Um, what else? I think we're gonna try Gatling Peas with uh, Torchwood, Pumpkins, we use Potato Mines for the first couple zombies, and what else? I guess we could go for Twin Sunflowers just to start getting those out, but... Hmm. No pumpkins yet. Instead, I'm gonna go spike weed and spike rock because those will be pretty valuable as well, <laughs> as is the norm. So we're gonna start out pretty usual, get our sunflower supply up, use potato mines for the first few zombies. I may not end up putting any sunflowers in the water because I think the water is gonna be largely filled just with cattails. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just plant a bunch of sunflowers on the land. Zombie, let's get our potato mine ready. So I kind of got a vision for how my lawn's gonna go. Sunflowers in the back, gonna have Gatling peas on the land, torchwood with pumpkins on them, spike rock, and then in the water we're gonna have cattails and then maybe gloom shrooms on the uh, right hand side. With pumpkins on them, of course. I'm not really sure though, I'll have to think about that. I'll plant him after that zombie hits the uh, potato mine. Here we go. Cattail always does us proud, and having cattails will allow us to deal with balloon zombies if they show up, as well as digger zombies if they show up. Spike rot going. I think I'm gonna plant four columns of sunflowers on the land, and then I can gradually remove them as we need to make room for other things. Start getting our Gatling Bees out. Again, I'm trying to... Because all of these upgrade plants are on such a slow cooldown, I'm trying to spread out the love, basically, so I'm not just like, I'm saving everything for the cattails. I'm like, well, I could do that. But I also want some get a bunch of Gatling Bees, and it, I'll need a lot of time in order for them to recharge enough for that to happen. I also want to make sure that we got Spike Rock. Although we don't need a lot of Spike Rock. Probably only one lane, maybe two. So now I'm going to save up for another Gatling P. The spike rocks will also be very useful for when the inevitable zombies start showing up. Hmm. 
This is great. <laughs> I would love to get that final spike rock planted before the round is over, and I'm pretty sure that is going to happen. No, that's definitely going to happen. Look at how much of the meter we still have to fill. And there we go! Unless I want two lanes of it. I might actually want two lanes of it. I'll think about it. Do I want the Torchwoods here or here? I probably want the Torchwoods a little bit farther back. Yeah, I'll do two columns of spike rock. That's that's fine by me. I want to get all the spike weed laid down so I don't have to take it. Uh, for the next round as well. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, not quite enough for the spike rock. That's fine. Oh boy, football zombie. Okay. So now we're going to take Twin Sunflower. We're still definitely going to be taking uh, these guys. We're still going to be taking uh, Repeater and Gatling P and Torchwood and Pumpkin. And what else? Those are kind of the important ones. Um, Coffee Bean Fume Shroom? Maybe not Twin? So, oh wait, no, not Coffee Bean Fume Shroom. Spike Rock. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do Spike Rock, and I'm gonna do Imitated Pumpkin. For this. Actually, no. Just in case Football Zombie shows up, I'm gonna want Squash. So for a quick kill, if necessary. I don't think it will be necessary, but you never know. I should have taken Imitated Pumpkin. Because I want to put these Torchwoods down, and I want to make sure the Torchwoods have pumpkins on them. So that way the zombies aren't going to instantly destroy them all the time. I also want to start laying down my twin sunflowers. The earlier we get those down, the better. Keep building the cattails. Okay. Oh wow, never mind, we did not need squash. Yeah, I should have taken imitated pumpkin. Oh well. was close. Gatling P was running low on HP. Now. If 
the cattails help out against the football zombies, it's great. But alas, that doesn't always happen. Sweet, sweet sound of Torchwood. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. So once we start getting to this part of the, uh, the pool, we're going to need to start putting pumpkins on our aquatic plants because zombies can pop up out of the swimming pool in the final waves. start breaking out the gloom shrooms, I think, for the next round. Or we can keep building cattails, but... Oh, wow. Slow down. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I got the final cattail off. That's fantastic. More zombies approaching? No. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Alright. Oh boy, we got gargantuars. Alright. So we'll keep up with the twin sunflowers. We still want lily pads. I think that's enough cattails, so what we're gonna do is we're, yeah, we're gonna start bringing down the gloom shrooms. Uh, we're gonna keep up with the repeaters and the gatling peas. Uh, and then I think we'll take two pumpkins. Because we're going to be going pretty pumpkin heavy here. We're going to be putting these gloom shrooms in the water. Just like that. We need to start getting more repeaters put down as well in anticipation for the uh, gargantuars coming out. interesting touch how the imitator is like a black and white version of the plant that you put down that again not the case in the ios version so that's a, that's a cool little touch all right catapult zombies going down Fine by me Oh, I just realized I hope bungee zombies don't show up, because I have no protection against them. One downside to the imitator is he is vulnerable. Oh my gosh, how did they just ruin that pumpkin so quickly? Good lord. I 
I should probably not be putting fume shrooms down until I can truly afford until the recharge on the gloom shroom is up. Uh oh. Crud. Oh, th thank you, cattails. Cattails are gonna help out against the imps immensely. Okay. Yeah, see how they're just chewing through the pumpkin? It's because I didn't make them a gloom shroom right away. Yeah, so the, the Imitator takes like three seconds to turn into the thing. So in the example that we just had where Imitator was turning into a pumpkin, before he physically turns into the pumpkin, he doesn't have the pumpkin's amount of HP. So if a zombie starts chewing on him... Hoo -hoo. If a zombie starts chewing on him while he's, before he transforms, they can potentially eat him and kill him before he finishes transforming. And which, which is really bad. All right, at this point, um, I think we've planted all the twin sunflowers we need. Maybe we need one more. We're gonna keep up with the gloom shrooms. We're still gonna go double pumpkin. Still gonna go Gatling P. We'll bring extra repeaters in case the imps eat them, even though there are no imps here. And we're not gonna need to replenish our spike rock, I don't think so. Guess we'll go Twin Sunflower, just in case. No, we already have all the Twin Sunflowers we need. Never mind. Well, the land lanes certainly aren't lasting for very long. Good lord. Look at that! They're they're just melting. Pumpkins back here in anticipation for the digger zombies arriving. We're already at the first huge wave. Okay. Gatling peas plus torchwood plus spike rock, nothing's gonna survive. And with this massive barricade of pumpkins and gloom shrooms, dolphin rider zombies are not gonna be able to do anything. Like I said, pumpkins, some of the best plants in the game. I was not exaggerating. The fact that they take up no space means on these <laughs> on these really large maps, they are absolutely incredible. Cattails are making quick work of the digger zombies. They're not able to get through our pumpkins. Okay, if there's a bunch of the digger zombies, it'll take a while for the cattails to bring them all down, but again, this is why we have the pumpkins. It's not even a big deal. Ah! How many dolphin rider zombies were there? They ate through a pumpkin in like half a second.
Alright. Aha, balloon zombies, no problem. Alright. Definitely doing duplicated pumpkins, no question. Gatling P. Um, I'll bring some extra spike rocks, I guess, just in case we run out. But other than that, that should be everything. Yeah. Just in case these spike rocks get destroyed. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. Shoot, I should have made a new gloom shroom up there, rather than there. If I get enough sun, I'm gonna start- oh wait, I didn't bring repeaters. Oh well. I was gonna say I'll replace these twin sunflowers with more Gatling peas. I can't do that. There's a lot of lag happening right now. My computer is also not bad. Considering this is a fairly old game. Oh, Jack in the Box. Oh, no. The Jack in the Box zombies, if they blow up, will wreck me. This is why I brought Spike Weed and Spike Rock. I had a hunch they might need to be replaced. Thank you, imitator. I'm surprised we haven't seen Zombonies yet. The pool levels are normally filled with Zombonies. Is this the final huge wave of Zombies? Yep, final wave! <laughs> this is madness. There we go, though. Oh, they destroyed my final spike rock, so I don't have a plant on every screen. Look at how many plants I had, though. I had a plant basically on every square, and I had pumpkins on top of the plants I had on most squares. We get a trophy! Woo! Okay, that was crazy. All right. We got, all right, 6,000. I, again, can't tell if Stinky the Snail actually collected anything for me. It's a little up in the air. But I suppose we can buy some fertilizer. And go over... Alright, yeah, so that's my Zen Garden. Let's give the tree some more fertilizer. Every day brings new challenges and opportunities. Oh, and new marigolds in Crazy Dave's shop. Yep, I've been buying those semi-religiously. Mushroom Garden! Huh, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Except growing mushrooms, that is. Well, yes. You do need Mushroom Garden in order to do that. I still have not bought the 10 seed slots. Again, I don't need it. I have like more than enough. There, I guess there have been a small handful of times where it's like, it could be nice to have a 10th, but I'm used to playing this game with no more than nine, so I don't need that. You know what, I'll buy the rake. We haven't actually used the rake before. I've also been informed, like I've looked it up. Apparently the rake, I thought the reason that I was, I'm like, the rake is in like a random lane. It may not even hit the first zombie. No, 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 it will always hit the first zombie. The, z the first zombie of the round will always appear in the lane that the rake is in. So, like, it's fine, but not great. I guess it's only 200 gold, though, so I'll at least show it off. But we'll have to show it off next time on Plants vs. Zombies, because that's it for today. Wow, we beat that in kind of quickly. As it turns out, Galleon Peace plus Torchwood just melt everything that comes near them, so... 
yeah, not a lot you can do there. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll be doing Survival Endless... Not Survival Endless. Survival Hard Mode in the Fog. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do about the fog. If I want to have planterns, or if I want to use blowovers, or if I just want to say, screw it, I'm using cattails, I don't need to see in the fog. That'll be interesting. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.